Hello, children. My name is Sarah. Come all the way from Salem just to wish you a happy Halloween. And I wanted to read you this lovely little story that I found. It's called The Witch's Cat. It's about a little cat named Pepper. And maybe, just maybe, if I have a little cat named Pepper, maybe she'll come over and say hello to me, but she's kind of shy. So are you ready? In the small town of Salem lived a little cat named Pepper. Pepper was the blackest cat you would ever see. She said it had very large eyes like saffron saucers and within each eye lived a small black crescent moon. Pepper lived with her Aunt Glinda, who's a very good friend of ours, who happened to be a witch, in a cozy little house at the end of the block. One bright and sunny day, all the cats in the neighborhood were out playing in the summer sunshine. All except little Pepper. While the other cats leapt from ledges, and batted about the bouncy balls, pounced on papers, and engaged in all sorts of play with one another. Pepper sat by herself. As dinner time approached, Pepper began to walk home. All the other cats are either gray or brown or white, Pepper thought to herself. Some are even brown and white. Maybe she thought, they don't like me because I'm different. Pepper was very, very sad. When Pepper arrived home, she saw her Aunt Glinda sitting at the kitchen table. Aunt Glinda loved Pepper very much and could tell right away that Pepper was upset. What's bothering you, Pepper? All the other cats play with each other and have fun all day, but no one seems to want to play with me, said Pepper sadly. Maybe, maybe you could cast a spell on them that would make them like me, cried Pepper, looking up at Aunt Glinda with her big crescent moon eyes. Now, Pepper, you know we don't use magic on others that way. Well, said Pepper, not quite ready to give up just yet. Maybe you could cast a spell on me so the other cats will like me. Aunt Glinda sat quietly for a moment before answering. Pepper, sweetheart, she said, I'm not sure that's necessary. Please, just this once, please begged Pepper, rubbing her cheek softly against Aunt Glinda's hand. Aunt Glinda thought for a moment more and finally said, All right, Pepper, if it means this much to you, let's do it. Aunt Glinda put her dusty old spell book on the kitchen counter and started brewing a potion. She filled a large cauldron with some bright colored liquids from several different jars she'd taken from the shelves above the sink. And she added different ingredients and she spoke an eye of new, dash of rye, the lace of a boot, and a mother's sigh, bat whisker cake, and a ghost dust pie. Friends, you shall make be true when you try. After she finished, Aunt Glinda used a wooden spoon to feed Pepper the potion before reciting her spell once more. Pepper excitedly leapt up that green mixture with a big smile on her face. There you go, little Pepper, said Aunt Glinda. It's done. Tomorrow morning, I want you to simply walk right up and introduce yourself to the other cats. 
Pepper was so excited she couldn't wait until the next morning. Oh, thank you, Aunt Glinda, she purred before she fell asleep. Next morning, Aunt Glinda came downstairs to make breakfast, but Pepper was too excited to eat and was already at the door waiting to go outside. Well, you're certainly up early, Pepper, said Aunt Glinda, smiling. Are you ready to go out and make friends? I am, exclaimed Pepper excitedly. And with that, Aunt Glinda let Pepper out and watched as she raced down the block to where the other cats were already playing. Look at her go. Pepper approached the other cats confidently and said with a smile, Hi, my name's Pepper. Hi, Pepper. I'm Snowball. And this is Calico and Jasmine and Ollie and Murphy. See all these kitties? Pepper and her new friends had a wonderful time playing all day until it was time to go. fun playing with everyone, said Pepper happily. It was fun playing with you too, Pepper, said Snowball. I'll see you tomorrow, shouted Ollie. Goodbye, Pepper, added Murphy. Goodbye, everyone, replied Pepper as she made her way back home. Pepper arrived home to find Aunt Glinda sitting at the kitchen table. Aunt Glinda, shouted a very happy Pepper. The spell worked. Everyone liked me. I made new friends and we played all day. I'm glad you had such a great time making new friends, Pepper, said Aunt Glinda, smiling. But come sit with me. I have something I want to tell you. Your spell worked, Aunt Glinda, said Pepper. I made friends with Snowball and Murphy and Calico and Pepper, sweetie, said Aunt, Gil Aunt Glinda. The truth is, I never really cast a spell on you. Snowball and the others did not like you because of some spell. They liked you because you let them see who you are. You see, Pepper, it's not important if you are a black cat or a gray cat or any color cat. What is important is that you just be yourself. So I never actually needed a spell at all, said Pepper. That's right, Pepper, said Aunt Glinda, patting her head softly. Now, how about some chicken and rice for dinner? I learned a new recipe. Yes, please, said Pepper happily. And with that, both Aunt Glinda and Pepper enjoyed their dinner, both having learned something new. And Pepper had fish for dessert. There's just some cool things about black cats that are in this book. There are more breeds of black cats than any other color. Black cats can be boys or they can be girls, but there are more boy black cats than girls. Some cultures, black cats are good luck. Many black cats have gold eyes and yellow. And August 17th, Appreciation Day. Isn't that neat? So now I can hear my sisters calling. So we need to go find some more children to go run amok with. But before we go, I'd like to ask you all to keep a lookout for my little friend Danny. She left her sweater here. So if you'd help me find her, please let me know. Just yell out, Sarah! found her. And until then, have a good time, be good, take good care, and I'll see you soon.